Welcome back to the channel guys, I'm just Jordan, what's the crack, what's the bleeding scandal boys, how are we all getting on? I hope we're having an absolutely beautiful day ladies and gentlemen, because today we are starting what is our first on the channel guys, a tips and tricks video for the swing in EA Sports PGA Tour. I've had this requested quite a bit on my TikTok, kind of YouTube comments etc, just asking for a basic kind of, a beginner's guide to the swing in EA Sports PGA Tour, so like the shot setup, the wind, kind of reading the the green a little bit kind of when you're hitting your approach shots swing plane tempo all that kind of stuff that goes into the actual swing itself guys so we're going to dive into all of that but before we get started guys I just want to say a big shout out to EA for sponsoring this tips and tricks video it is greatly appreciated and thank you very much EA guys but be sure to like and subscribe guys if any of these comments below or any of these comments that we're about to kind of give you do help you it'd be greatly appreciated for the channel and let me know down in the comments below what particular comments helped you guys so let's dive into this and let's see if we can improve your game so guys, if you're a beginner, you booted up the game, you booted up EA Sports PG Tour, you're ready to get into some golf, baby. You made your player and suddenly you're hit with this at the very end before you kind of sign off. The swing style, all right? This might be something that you might kind of glaze over really quick in the excitement of getting a new game, but it's something you might want to pay a bit of attention to. So we have high, high ball trajectory, right? Like, you know, what is that? What's the point in that, right? I have high ball trajectory. I find I hit it, if you, you'll hit it higher, you probably won't hit it as far, but it'll spin more. It will it won't have, it won't be coming in low. If you hit it in lower, that might be great if you want to have all oh, power, all the drives. Your ball will go low under the wind. It'll run and run and run, and you're, you probably won't get as much spin, and it, it'll run out. So it really depends on what kind of um, player you want to be. That is something to pay attention to if you find that you're not getting enough spin, if your ball maybe has a lower flight, that like why you're not getting height on the ball, etc. That's something to pay attention to. The fade, I don't think really has that much of a much of a difference. Um, if you like. The only time this really has any kind of an impact is if you want to actually shape the ball. If you, if your preferred shot shape is a fade, which is left to right, it'll be easier to hit that shot than it would be a draw because my natural shot is a fade. So that's all that that means. But if you're a relatively, if you're a player that just likes to play things dead, dead simple, just straight, straight shots all the time, this doesn't really have much of an impact for you. Now, swing tempo, guys, is going to be something you're going to see a lot. You're going to boot up the game. You can, we'll, you'll see now in a second when we hit some shots later on in the video where we're going to hit some fast shots. We're going to hit some slow shots, under swings, over swings. The ball is going to go further or less depending on that. But that all comes down to your set tempo. That's basically just how fast you swing the analog stick yourself. How fast do you swing with the controller in hand? That is something you're going to want to play around with, guys. If you're if you're under hitting or over hitting shots, or you're hitting fast or slows, take a look at swing tempo and play around with one that is good for, is right for you. I have it on slower because I'm a bit of a slow swinger. But play around with normal. Play around with faster. Like play around with a few of them and and go with what you think is suits your golf game so guys when it comes to skills right skills are going to be a very major a major part of your player's progression in this game naturally if you're someone who's really struggling with swing playing in this game your, your shots are going every which way left right you can't really seem to get it straight right this is the thing i would do okay i would really increase your accuracy uh, on pretty much all your things if you're struggling with the driver change the accuracy to the driver approach ramp up that accuracy on approach short game Putting, maybe not so much, but if you're struggling with swing playing again, you could ramp up putting also. Ramping up the accuracy on all of these things will massively improve your your miss hit window and kind of your, it'll correct your swing plane a little bit. It's by no means a complete fix, but it will help considerably. You will also unlock different shot types in that accuracy section. That will be a little bit more easier than the standard, um, the standard approach shot, and it will help you out massively. Likewise, guys, if you're looking for extra spin, um, the one and and you you're you're like me and you don't have the power spin enabled where you kind of spam a certain button. Ramping up control will definitely be something you really want to do. It'll give your shots a lot more natural spin around the greens and everything like that. I recommend maybe doing that for approaches. Be fairly good. You don't really need to do it for driver at all. You can do it for your short game. It would definitely be good for the likes of chipping and flops. Um, but recovery wise. Personally, I wouldn't recommend touching it. The lies you're going to get out of the rough in this game are going to be fairly favourable. Pretty much like like being in the fairway. You're going to get 96 to 100% lies. Save your skill points, guys, and don't up any... Don't touch recovery. Just go with control and go with accuracy if you're really struggling with these aspects. Once you boot up the game, you're probably wondering what the hell are these things. Maybe you might have packed them 
maybe he might have unlocked them with a, a deluxe version of the game maybe he might have got them somehow some way i don't know how you might have got them you sorcerer how did you get these i'm a what a wizard but you might come across these so these are basically extra added on power boosts uh, for different stats onto your skills already for example and for example here we have some we have some different ones we have in, in colors we have blue which is rare we have green which is uncommon and we have gold which is legendary these come in power accuracy pudding control recovery whatever it might be and then you also actually can get the specific boosts for a specific thing from one of the licensed golfers in the game so for example here we have Hideki Matsuyama's wedge special boost that you can apply to your wedge game on your skills. So these are things guys that if you are really struggling again like I said maybe with power or accuracy or you know driver control for example. These are the things you're going to want to look for in, um, in specs. You can find this in the store um, and they will massively help your game as well. I don't think you need them straight off the bat. I think you can still enjoy the game without needing these because they're very expensive for coins or for, you know, to pack them. You can get them from tournaments, etc., which I might explain in another video, guys. But these are just another way you can further increase your skills. We have Jordan Speed's Woods here, which are pretty cool. You can pretty much upgrade whatever area you want. This might seem like a very basic thing to say, but have a little look at your settings. A lot of people automatically have this set to left stick, but you know, you could find you're actually better with right stick. You could find you're actually better with three click if swing playing and everything like that, and you just can't hit it straight. It's just not your thing. Try, give three click a go. Give it a go on your swing mechanic. Give right stick a go. Give left stick a go. Try them all, guys. Try that on your swing mechanic and your pudding. If you're still not really getting the hang of it, kind of go for an easy, go for a different swing uh, difficulty. I try it on easy, go to normal, go to hard then when you're ready. I think have a good play around with the EA Sports PG Tour has a fantastic customization when it comes to difficulty. You can have, like me, I have a lot of the aids off, like swing meter, power boost, the spin, I have a bit of spin control, shot shaping, I have certain things on guys, but you wanna, if it, it has an amazing level of depth to how hard you want to make it for yourself. I have it on normal uh, swing difficulty, which I find a decent enough challenge, and I also have putting difficulty set to hard so that does kind of um, give me a bit of a challenge with swing playing myself but again upping your putting in the skills will dramatically help you so guys have a little look at that if you're really struggling as well and choose choose please for the love of god choose a good difficulty that will suit you this might be your general setup on the golf course this might this could be nightmare for you for you i hope it's not pts inducing if you are struggling with the golf game guys but these are the things you want to see so straight away we have two mile an hour wind now maybe on certain courses that mightn't affect the ball that much but we have that there if there is a little bit of two mile an hour wind maybe just give it two nudges off to the right just two nudges away the opposite direction of the, of the wind that's all you have to do my best advice is to give it however if, for example if it's two mile an hour wind just give it maybe like two nudges off to the right maybe if it's seven mile an hour seven nudges and, and you'll find a good depending on how fast or slow you swing or you're over swing you're under swing find something that suits that, that suits you especially with your swing plane the other thing guys is lie all right so i picked whistling straights here right now we're playing you can see if you're ever struggling right there's no grid to tell you where is the ball gonna go right to left left to right whatever it is a general rule of thumb guys is look at the club and the, your player's feet the ball is clearly above my player's feet if the ball is above your feet it means the ball is gonna shoot off to the left. The ball is gonna want to go left on you. If the ball was below your feet, for example, where, where your your feet are much higher than the ball, which we might see later on in per perhaps different circumstances, that means the ball is gonna shoot off to the right because the ball is below your feet. So just remember that, guys. If the ball is above your feet, it's gonna go off to the left. If it's below your feet, it's gonna go off to the right. So just remember those things, guys. The other thing guys is pay attention to the greens all right so like i mean the greens are very the green for example here is very sloped it is it is, it is quite sloped right we have the bit of wind we have a tiny bit of elevation it's not going to make that much of a difference we'll touch upon elevation later in the video guys but we can see here this green is breaking it's all breaking off left right here don't just hit the shot like th this this isn't exactly the most extreme green there will be greens that might be more extreme than this but t don't just hit the shot and, and, and wonder why it ends up over here because you're going to hit the shot 
plan where the ball is going to land. The ball could land here and then it could run off over here because of the slope. So just take the slope into account where you want to land the ball. If you want to try and land the ball there, then the slope will take it closer to the hole. That is ideally what you want, guys. So just remember that. Take note of how the green actually breaks and how it's going to react when your golf ball lands on the green. Alright, guys. So you can kind of see here by the way I'm swinging, right? Swing plane is pretty straight. But we're getting, we're getting a slight, barely a fast. We're getting a 1.2, 1, 2, 1 point, oh my God, I can't speak. 1.2% fast. But we're also getting a slight, just an ever so slight overswing of 0.7%, right? This is something I would actually recommend doing. You do not want a situation where you're hitting slows and you're hitting underswings because the ball is going to go off to the right and it's going to come up considerably short of what you want. If you hit it fast, you might get it where it goes off slightly to the left, but it will go a little bit further than you want and chances are it'll always end up on the green. You do not want a situation where you're constantly coming up short of the green, especially when you are getting very, um, you're playing very tough courses. Like I said, guys, then to know as well, with, with, with fast and slows, if you get a fast, you are going to go off to the left. If you are, if you are going to get a slow, you are going to go off to the right. So just take note of that. It's like hitting a fast, it's like hitting a draw. It'll start off to the right and go off to the left. Hitting a slow, it'll start off to the left and go off to the right. Just take note of that. So I'm putting all those things together, for example, here, right? We have two mile an hour wind. Okay, fine. Okay, one, two nudges, right? The, the elevation, we're gonna, the, the, the slope I'm on, where the ball is up on my feet. I'm going to go off a bit more here, okay? Then we are going to take a look at the green, okay? So the green is sloping a little bit. It is sloping that way, to be fair. But if I'm probably going to hit this fast, it's going to go off to the left for me anyway. So I think this is kind of a general, a good, a general um, safe play here. So we're just going to hit this, guys. Now, I hit a very slight overswing there. Not the end of the world. Like I said, I would rather that go much I would rather that hit a hit a fast. It was a very slight underswing, so I don't think it matters particularly much, but we're exactly where we want to be. Center of the green, the ball was I hit a fast, it went it did start coming back towards the hole, so it went right to left. Remember that guys. And we have a pretty good putt of birdie here. This might be something where you are faced with. This is again on whistling straights, it is a bit of an extreme example, but here, when it comes to elevation, it didn't really matter too much in the last example purely because it was like three feet, four feet, five feet above you. In extreme circumstances, so for example, you can see here, this is my, this is 24 feet below us. In these little circumstances, what I recommend doing is just nudging down, just nudging down a club. I don't think you need to nudge down two clubs because it all depends on how you hit it, how you swing. If you're someone who knows you're going to under swing it and you're going to hit it slow, maybe you could just hit it as it is because you're slow and under swing is going to take off distance anyway. If you're someone who's going to overpower this, maybe take off another club, maybe take off two clubs for good measure. Always think about it like that, guys. Now, if we if you do have a circumstance where maybe it's not 24 feet downhill, it's 10 feet downhill, this in the right hand corner is a very good thing to use. Okay, if say for example. It, the green is minus 10 feet below you okay or above you whatever it might be right you don't necessarily you might have big gaps in your clubs you don't might maybe this is a much bigger gap maybe that's the club you have and your next up down is like this or something right if you want to be able to reach the green and you don't have enough club to get there or enough club to take off right for example for example this this could be this could be my my club here this might be a little bit too much right but i don't i don't i, I can't hit partials i don't know how to hit them if i have some aids off right what you want to do is with your right analog stick put put height on the ball right if you want to take distance off put some height on the ball extend it right to the max that will take a lot of distance off and increase your spin if you likewise do the same if you go the other way and put it down low the ball will come in low land on the green possibly about maybe here probably further back to be honest maybe about there and it'll chase in low towards the flag now you might run off the back of the green depending on the course you are playing guys but that is kind of what i recommend say for example now we're going to put this into practice i am going to go with a club i am going to put this in low this i'm going to put this is a three iron this is going to come in very low i might go a little bit less i'm going to go a five iron here we're going to put this in very low 
we're probably going to hit a fast, so put it over here. The green does slope back towards the hole, so that's happy days. This probably will run off the back of the green, like I said, because realistically, you don't want to be hitting in a low shot into this kind of circumstance, but we're going to we're gonna try it, guys. We're going to try it. All right, here we go. A little bit of a fast. Came in possibly lower than other shots. You probably won't notice it massively, but it did come in low, guys. And that's filtering nicely down towards the flag. So there are all the little kind of tips, guys, that will massively help you throughout the game. Um, we're not really going to dive into putting at all in this particular video. If you guys want to see something on putting or how I put in the game, um, let me know down in the comments below and I will gladly help you out if I can. So guys, that was the beginner's guide to EA Sports PGA Tour when it comes to the swing. Like we said, we touched upon, you know, your uh, skills, specs, your player's creation, lie, elevation, tempo, wind, reading the green a little bit from a distance. Pretty much everything, guys. Even the kind of the hitting it in high, hitting it in low, little different things, guys. I hope those things really did help you. Hopefully, it was, something was wrong in your game. You saw something, you're like, Jesus, that clicked. Thank you very much, Jordan. I hope... Um, any of these kind of little tips and tricks have helped you guys um, if any of them did let me know down in the comments below I'd be greatly it'd be, well, it would be great great to hear basically and if you want me to do something else Like if you want me to do anything on like the career mode explained, you know review Online explained, you know packs explained anything like that guys. Let me know putting even Let me know down in the comments below guys And I would be glad glad to help and if any of these did help you guys It would be greatly appreciated if you want to subscribe to the channel you beautiful legend sitting at home it would be greatly appreciated, guys. But until next time, have a wonderful day. Take it easy, my friends. Bye-bye.